Kristen, and you're listening to Podcast and Amplify, a podcast for women entrepreneurs who want to amplify their voice and brand through podcasting and grow a wildly successful business. I'm the executive producer and host of two shows and an entrepreneur, and I love helping women grow their visibility, mindset, and business to the next level. Each week, I share tips on how to launch and leverage your podcast, and I'm bringing on the very best business leaders to give you advice on how to build your business empire. Let's amplify your voice and business. Hey, Podcast and Amplify listeners, welcome back to the show. So today we're talking about how to create an interactive and engaging podcast experience. So it's really important to use your podcast to engage your audience and make them feel like they're part of your community. So we're going to go over ways today that you can create this sort of two-way dialogue with your listeners, ways that you can take your listener from the podcast into your community. Maybe it's your Facebook group or on Instagram, wherever you can engage with them the most outside of your podcast, because the podcast experience is really just a listening experience for them. But you want to think about ways that you can engage with them, whether that's your social media platforms or your email list. So these ways that I'll be talking about today are just really ways to invite listeners in and give them value. So the first one I'm going to talk about is prompts. So writing prompts, journaling prompts. This is where you can offer a weekly prompt or maybe it's an affirmation that they can say over and over again throughout the week and then ask them to let you know in your Facebook group or on Instagram how that affirmation felt for them, how they felt at the end of the week maybe meditating on it every day, or you can give them something to journal around. For example, if you're a financial coach and you're working on mindset, a prompt could be around their beliefs around money and writing about where those beliefs came from. So there are so many things that you can come up with in terms of helping your listeners to maybe delve deeper via journaling through a prompt or work on their mindset through something like an affirmation. And then you get to engage with them around that prompt and get to know them a little bit better. Okay, so another great way to create engagement with your audience is by doing a challenge. If your podcast comes out weekly, you could have a weekly challenge that helps your listeners to work towards accomplishing an important goal inside their business. So let's say you're a financial coach you could ask your listeners to reach out to three new clients this week, or you can ask them to create a new offer that will generate more income. And then you could ask them to post about it in your Facebook group. And then if you have multiple people posting about it, it's going to create that community and excitement around that post. And then that gives you an opportunity to engage with your listeners to see where they're at and to see if you can help them more. So weekly challenges can be a lot of fun and your audience can get a lot from them. And it creates just a great opportunity to interact with your listeners outside the podcast. Hey, Explorers, we'll get back to the show in just a moment, but I wanted to take just a few seconds to invite you to the free workshop that I created. It's called The Three Secrets to Starting Your Successful Podcast. Now, it's all about helping you to start your dream podcast so that you can share your voice and expand your business. If you want to join, just go to explorerandyou.com. It's totally free. All right, friend, back to the show. Okay, so number three, ask your listeners to submit questions to your show and then answer them on air. So this is a great way to really help your listeners because you are getting their problems and their questions directly from them. And chances are their question is the same as a lot of other people who are listening. So you can send out a call to action at the end of your show to please send in questions and let them know that you'll be reading them on the next episode. Another option is to actually invite that person on, the person who gave you the question, 
and answer it for them and have a little bit of a dialogue. You could do a live Q&A, do a live stream of just the Q&A portion. Then people can comment live as you're answering this person's question. So there are really just so many opportunities for engagement here. And what I love about the Q&A is that you are really answering their questions. You're helping to solve their problems. So not only are you providing them with a lot of value, your listeners, you are showing that you are an expert, you are a leader, and they get to see your style of delivering that knowledge, what it would feel like to actually work with you. So there's a lot of great things there in the Q&A. So those are my three suggestions for creating an engaging podcast experience, prompts, weekly challenges, and Q&A. So these are the things that will get your listeners to engage with you outside of the podcast on your other social platforms so that you can get to know them better. They can get to know you better. And there's a really important way to leverage your podcast. If they're listening, they're already bought into your message and your voice, and they're enjoying the content that you're putting out there. So imagine giving them an opportunity to actually engage with you and to learn even more about you. Podcasts are already so valuable, and this is just one way to really maximize on the value that podcasts give you. It doesn't have to just be something that you put out there and people listen to. You can definitely create an experience around your podcast and it's up to you. It's totally open to your creativity. These are just a few ideas that I wanted to share to inspire you to come up with your own ideas. But I know that if you implement any one of these that you will be giving your audience a way to connect with you. And that's really what it's all about. So I hope that these were helpful. So I'm excited to hear which one of these you implement into your podcast. If you already have a podcast, if you don't have a podcast, that's what I do. I love helping mission driven entrepreneurs to start and launch their podcast. I have a link in the show notes to a free workshop, which covers everything you need to know to really start your podcast on the right foot. So go ahead and check that out. And I want to know from you, if you have a podcast and you implemented one of these ways to engage with your audience, which one it was and how it worked for you. So you can pop into my Facebook group. I'll leave the link in the show notes as well. Or you can DM me on Instagram. That's where I am most of the time, please let me know which of these worked for you. If you don't have your podcast yet, let me know which one of these feels really good to you and that you feel like you would want to incorporate into your podcast once you start it. So I look forward to hearing from you and thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. If you love today's episode, please subscribe so you don't miss a show. And rating and reviewing this podcast is the best way to help support us. Always remember your voice and what you have to offer is needed in the world. Until next week, take care.